Hey guys, this is That One Chicago Guy here for another MLB Talks episode. And today is going to be about the news about Troy Tulowitzki. About 7 hours ago, around 2 or 3 p.m. today, uh, the Blue Jays released Troy Tulowitzki. He is 34 years old. Uh, they have 2 years left on his uh, deal and $38 million they got to eat up. So... That's getting off of a huge contract that they gave them, so that could really free up some space for them for this offseason. You know, uh, there are some teams that could really use him. I mean, more of win-now teams, but now that I think about it, there are some other teams that could really use him. Like, a win-now team example would be the Yankees. They have Miguel Anjouar, which I wouldn't be surprised if they trade. They said they were shopping him around, and the Marlins seemed interested. And I think it's either at second or short, they got uh, Glaber Torres. But they did say they would, uh, or Tulowitzki said he would be open to uh, position changes. So if they could move him to Miguel Anjouar's place, if they trade him at third, then that would solve his problem if he would want to play third. That's a big if on Tulowitzki's part. But another team... Well, I got two teams that could possibly use him, maybe, and they're both rebuilding teams. So my first one would be the Detroit Tigers. I looked up who their shortstops were because I don't even know who their shortstops are. And it was this, I forgot his first name, but his last name was Alcantara. And then the other guy was Willie Castro, which never heard of both. So, I mean, he would just slot right in above them. But the problem I see there is he's older and they are a rebuilding team. They're going to be in it for another few years of rebuilding. But, I mean, if they really wanted to. But another rebuilding team I could see taking uh, a shot on Tulowitzki would be the Marlins. And I'm just going to say right now, who the hell knows what the Marlins are doing? Like, I... I I don't even know. Like, I, I don't know. They get rid of Yelich. Well, they get rid of literally their whole outfield. Ozuna, Yelich, and Stanton last season. And then they, uh, in the trade back, they got Starlin Castro, which is, a, for you that don't know, he mostly plays shortstop, but he can be a second baseman. Uh, they did trade Hechevarria away to the... Raise a while. I'm not sure if it was last year or year before, but either way, shortstop would be a relatively easy position for him to go to there. Or, like I said before, he's open to trying out new positions. So, either third base, which yeah, I'm not even sure who's there. Is that Derek Dietrich? I don't, I don't even know. Is, there, is he there one of their catchers or is he the first baseman? I thought they're. First baseman, I'm just going to say now, I thought it was Justin Bohr, but I very well could be wrong, but I think he got traded to the Phillies or something. See, I'm mixing myself up right now. I'm really mixing myself up. But either way, I could see Troy Tulowitzki uh, fitting there if they're ready to contend in a few years. So really, um, those are my three teams that I see could be good fits for Troy Tulowitzki. But uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. So let me uh, know what you guys have to say. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.